Order. Order. Honourable Tohanare. Thank you, Mr three. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What recent steps has the government taken to help protect the economy and financial system from damaging boom and bust credit cycles? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, last month I signed a memorandum of understanding with Reserve Bank Governor on measures aimed at providing extra security to the financial system. Banks already have to meet increased capital and liquidity requirements that make them safer. The memorandum uh, provides four new measures for the Reserve Bank to apply if necessary. Uh, these measures allow, banks to allow the Reserve Bank to require registered banks to hold additional capital on their balance sheets as a buffer during an economy-wide credit boom. Secondly, to hold additional capital against loans in specific sectors if risks emerge. Uh, thirdly, to adjust their funding ratios to use more stable sources of funding to avoid short-term funding shortages. And finally, to apply quantitative restrictions on the share of high loan-to-value ratio loans in the housing sector. Supplementary, speaker. Supplementary question, the Honourable Tohanare. Mr Speaker, how will these extra capital and liquidity tools help to promote stability in the financial system? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, well, it's important to have stability in the financial system because we have seen the effect on economies around the developed world when financial systems become unstable. Uh, these tools will not necessarily be the answer to all problems, uh, but they will certainly help at the margins. They will increase the resilience of the financial system during periods of rapid credit growth uh, by requiring banks uh, to make themselves uh, safer and stronger in case uh, excessive growth in credit and asset prices uh, stops and those prices fall. Uh, without these tools, uh, banks could be put at risk. Supplementary, speaker. Supplementary question, the Honourable Tohanare. Uh, Mr Speaker, why is it important that the government guards against excessive credit and house price cycles? Honourable Bill English. Oh, Mr Speaker, uh, one, of <coughs> one reason is to uh, avoid uh, recessions of the nature that New Zealand had. We had an excessive uh, credit and house price cycle through the 2000s, which meant that by 2008, before the global financial crisis, New Zealand was in recession. Uh, we've seen also around the world that where house prices rise rapidly on the back of uh, fast credit growth, uh, this creates problems for interest rates and exchange rates on the way up through the cycle, and then when the house prices crash, as they inevitably do, uh, that can create real problems for homeowners and for the wider economy. Supplementary, Supplementary question, the Honourable David Parker. Has the Minister seen the report from the OECD, which this month warns that house prices in New Zealand are overheating and that a capital gains tax as used in almost every other OECD country, is very important to help deal with this imbalance. Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, I have seen that advice and don't necessarily agree with, agree with it. Uh, economies which are struggling, either through low growth or because of excessive housing prices, generally had capital gains taxes, uh, and it hasn't prevented the kind of uh, devastation that, that housing bubbles cause when they burst. Uh, we believe that a more direct approach is to prevent the, is to uh, dampen, if not prevent, the capital gain in the first place, and that is by ensuring that there is more flexibility in the supply of housing, so that when there are more people willing to pay more for houses, more houses get built more quickly. Supplementary, speaker. Supplementary question, the Honourable Tohanare. Mr. Speaker, can the minister tell us uh, what are some of the risks for homeowners in the current environment? of low interest rates and rising house prices. Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm sure uh, banks are advising homeowners to ensure uh, that they could afford to service substantial loans when, uh, if or when interest rates rise. Uh, whether they do is a, is a matter for the Reserve Bank Governor. Uh, for instance, some banks are currently offering shorter-term fixed mortgages at record low interest rates below 5%. Uh, floating rate mortgages are currently at around 50-year lows. Uh, homeowners need to <coughs> are being advised by banks that they should not believe that this is a permanent state of affairs. Uh, it is possible uh, that at some stage in the next few years interest rates will start rising. If house prices continue to rise very rapidly, 
it's possible that we could follow interest rates could follow the track of the last housing cycle where first mortgage rates reached 10 per cent at their peak. Question number four, the Honourable David Parker. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to